Welcome to St. Martin! What's up explorers? Welcome back to our channel. It's the Choose here from Choose to Explore where we teach you guys how to see the world. And save a dollar. So we're here with a two for one special because we're at St. Martin. In St. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> so the crazy thing about St. Martin is it's one island but it's a territory that is of two different countries. So they have the Dutch side and they have the French side. And through our five days here we're going to explore both sides. So using credit card miles, it was only $5 one way and under $100 round trip per person in order to get here in St. Martin. And it's also super easy to come in. We didn't really have to fill out any customs forms. They just asked us where are we staying, stamped our passport, and kept it moving. So let's get on the road. Right from the airport, we got picked up in a shuttle because we're renting a car with Right Car Car Rental. And we got the cheapest car we could find and it was $86 for our whole time here, which is pretty good. Y'all know, see the world, save a dollar. So let's get the car and let's get on the road. From the airport we drove to our airbnb and it was only a nine minute drive and we're right in Marigo, which is the capital of the french side and it's beautiful here this airbnb we really decided to stay here because it was only 50 dollars a night using an early bird discount and it is a beautiful place so i think this place is amazing because it's fully stocked it has a bed it has a sofa which also can turn into another bed the bathroom is newly renovated it has a beautiful balcony it has views of a pool it also has a private beach in the back as well and harry the host he has a lot of thoughtful touches as well so there was a lot of sunscreen there's bug spray there's anything you can think of that you need we have it here there's beach towels there's snorkels there's even a little um bucket to make a sand castles with so i'm gonna take that with me too <laughs> So I definitely recommend doing it here. Harry also gave us a lot of local recommendations for places to eat, things to do. So we're gonna have a lot more fun in St. Martin than we thought. So let's go. Maho Beach and live. Tell them why it's famous. Because of all the low flying planes. You're literally at the beach, and right behind us is the airport. So the planes will land and take off literally right here. And not only can you see the planes take off, you can actually feel them take off. So we're here. It's a beautiful, it looks like the sun is about to set. This is a beautiful place to be. The sand is super soft. The water is super clear, and it's a beautiful shade of blue. And it's a great place to just watch the sun set. So we'll stay here, hang out, and hope to see some action here. <laughs> Already see a few planes flying, but we're gonna see one up close and personal. <laughs> All right, so we actually just ran back to the car because it started raining on us at Maho Beach. But Maho Beach, you will see us again because we need to see a low flying plane fly over us, so. Before we leave. <laughs> we'll be back. This is only day one. <laughs> here in St. Martin and one of the best things here is sleeping here and being woken up by the sunrise. We just came up here and it's just beautiful at 6 a.m. just to see the beauty of the island. So let's get this day started now.
right, so we just ate at Revy Martin, which is a really great breakfast and lunch spot right by Simpson Bay. One thing to note is that it is cash only. So we just went here because it was really highly recommended and the food here was definitely fantastic. So Olivia, what did you get? I got the egg white uh, omelet with mushroom and Swiss and also a caramel coffee. And the caramel coffee was beautiful <laughs> and also delicious. And for myself, the host actually recommended the sandwiches. I was going to get the crepes because when we went to Aruba, I had the Dutch pancakes and they were fantastic. But he said the sandwiches were phenomenal. So I went and got the sandwiches and let me tell you, it was phenomenal. It also came with fruit, potatoes, and it has so much food that I'm taking some back home. So I highly recommend coming here. Yes, definitely. I also really enjoyed the toast and they had some like orange marmalade and that was just so good, top tier. pretty and mountainous here. It reminds us of one of our favorite uh, Caribbean countries, which was St. Lucia, that was also very mountainous. So really loving it here, really loving the landscapes. It's very green, lush mountains. All right, so we just drove up over here. We are by Pelican Road and see there's a basketball court. We're about to get this hike because we're going to head to some natural pools. So it's a hot day. It's about midday. See, I got my hat on, got my glasses and let's get this hike started. We just got here at the natural pools it was uh, it really should take you about 20 minutes or 30 minutes but we actually saw the sign but we didn't know that the pool is straight down you actually we actually kept walking about 30 45 minutes down and it was a little bit of a scary hike because i guess you weren't supposed to go that way but we're back here and i'm about to go down what i would say also is that this area of st martin is a lot different than the other areas of st martin because it's dry and there's deserts and there's no shade here. You even see a bunch of different cacti here, but it's a beautiful hike nonetheless. So let's head down to the natural pool. All right, and I made it down here to the natural pool, Devil's Cupper. And it's a little bit of a hike getting down there. It's not a hike, it's just steep, and you kind of got to run and skip down. This is beautiful. Please bring some water shoes here, y'all. Pools. My wife didn't come down. It's just me here. I got it to myself and it's beautiful. I definitely recommend coming down here at Devil's Cupboard. Alright, now I gotta head up there. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be fun. Alright, and we just drove a little bit and now we're at Orient Bay at Orient Bay Beach. And this water is beautiful. There's so many different shades of blue. The only problem is that there's all of this seaweed or seagasm. I guess it's the season for it. But we're the only ones here, but I think it's because of all of the seaweed that's here. But it's a beautiful beach that we have all to ourselves here. And we just drove a little bit and we are here at Point de Vue. And there's a beautiful viewpoint right here. You could see Orient Bay. You see all the different uh, colors of water. You see Little Key. You see Pinnell Island, which we'll be heading to a little bit later on in this video. And you can even see St. Bart's, which is literally across the water. Beautiful viewpoint right here. and we're on the 
north side of the French side of St. Martin and the water here is really beautiful. It actually reminds me of when we were in Thailand, how there's like a greenish hint, greenish hue to the water and it's super blue as well and I'm loving it. It's beautiful. There, You can see the mountainous uh, landscapes around as well with all the trees in the mountains and it's so peaceful and serene out here. It's also very private so there is a resort behind us but there's really not any people out here. <laughs> yeah we basically have the whole beach to ourselves. We walked as far down as we could and look around there is nobody here. I'll take a private beach in St. Martin any day. So let's just enjoy this. and we headed to Grand Cas Beach and it's really beautiful here um, it's actually nobody else here so I'm really shocked like it's definitely low season because we have basically a private beach <laughs> yeah I heard a lot of great things about this uh, beach area there's a beach club right next to us but we're here for the free access and we're just gonna watch here um, watch the sunset right from here look at the beautiful water and just enjoy our time here St. Martin has so many beautiful beaches <laughs> So here's the funny thing. We were just at Petite Beach and we thought it was Grand Cas. Now this is Grand Cas, but we're here after sunset. So um, this is what it looks like, but it's a way bigger beach, but still beautiful. and we're just leaving Captain Frenchie's and it's a beautiful restaurant literally right on the water um, I think it's a great place to actually catch a sunset but a lot of people just come there for drinks um, we went there they played live music which is fantastic they played a lot of Bob Marley <laughs> Big up to my Jamaicans, you know. And I got the chicken wings. Liv actually asked for shrimp tempura, but what did they give you? They gave me mozzarella sticks, but they read my mind because I was in between shrimp tempura and mozzarella sticks, so I wasn't really mad. And it was really good. And then, actually, we went across the street to, I just had pizzeria, and we got a cheese pizza because, you know, Liv only eats shrimp and rice and um, margarita pizza. So she got a margarita pizza, and it was good as well, and we got some to go. This is breakfast for tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. Day three here in St. Martin. As you can see, we're here in hurricane season. It's wet season, it's raining right now. So let's hurry up and get in the car and let's get out of here. just ate at Siska's Delicacy. It's right here in the same market with the all local vendors. Um, it's a Saturday morning and there's a lot of local vendors here. Um, they're selling fish, they're selling spices, they're selling a bunch of different things here. But Siska's Delicacy was great. I actually got the local butterfish and Johnny cake, which is like a fried dumpling and a salad. And what did you get, my love? I got an American breakfast. So I had scrambled eggs, I had pancakes, I had toast and some apples. Let me tell you guys about that uh, fried fish. It was seasoned to the gods. It was so good. I highly recommend eating there. So let's go to the next spot now. here actually our lovely Airbnb host Harry actually invited us down here guava berry it's a local fruit here to the island and their national it's their actual natural fruit right yes 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 so we are going to actually get a tour of how they make the liqueur so let's stay tuned and let's do this yeah <laughs> what's his name Mr. Marku Mr. Marku yeah how we doing Mr. Marku good man and welcome to the guava berry production area Mm -hmm. So this is the way we put our way together, which is the, we must them for one year. 
in the glass jar, mm -hmm. but we call it the Majon, but this is a robot the Majon. This is the one year, after one year, we take them upstairs to be bottled and to be ticketed and sealed and out for delivery. <laughs> Guava berry and rum. Guava berry, it's a special mix. Okay. It's a special secret, mix. Recipe. secret recipe. Okay, don't tell. Don't, don't. It's a special mix, yeah. Listen, if you guys subscribe right now, I'll tell you the recipe. Alright? <laughs> Only if you subscribe right now. Yeah. <laughs> We just got here at Fort Louis. Actually, we didn't even get here. We're climbing up these hills and it's long steps, especially after a hike from yesterday. And they're steep. Liv over here is taking her sweet time. She acts like she's taking photos, but I know. I'm on time. Oh, okay. Look at her. But almost here, Fort Louis. I made it here at the top of Fort Louis and it is so beautiful up here. This is a great vantage point and I see why they built the fort right here because you got 360 degrees unobscured island views here. Man, amazing. So we're back here again at Maho Beach. As you can see, it's a lot more people now because between one and three is prime time for the time that the planes land. So we're gonna hope to see that we can get some of these planes landing here. All right, so we're here at Maho Beach for the third time this trip. And honestly, this really might be my favorite beach so far in St. Martin. The water is such a pretty, pretty shade of blue multiple shades of blue. It's so gorgeous and it's been the clearest water that I've seen so far and it's so fun to watch the planes take off over you. Um, so we were here um, during the 1 p.m. hour and we saw at least like three or four planes take off so that's probably the best time to come. Um, but I've been really enjoying this beach. What do you think Darren? What do you think? I think this is an amazing beach. <laughs> Obviously you got to come here to see the planes take off but also come here and enjoy um, the beautiful ambiance. There also is jellyfish that yeah. we see saw here as well as some fish swimming fast. I, the one time I didn't bring my snorkel to show you guys, but yeah, come yeah. here. Come here and see for yourself. We just drove a little bit, parked our car on the side of the road because we're heading to True David, um, which is supposed to be a beautiful spot with this hole. So let's hike or walk or- We're gonna walk. Yeah. Take it slow. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we just made it to David's Hole or David's True Tra. I, I don't speak French, sorry. <laughs> but we just made it here and it's really cool, really beautiful. Uh, the path here, at first it started off really wide and well paved path, but then towards the end, once you're getting close to the actual hole, you have to kind of cross some like jagged rocks. So just be mindful of that. But it's not too bad. Uh, if you guys do have water shoes, you can literally walk right on it and it isn't problematic. But right next to it, uh, David's hole, there is like barbed wire around so you can't really climb up even if you wanted to. But it's so beautiful to see the hole that natural erosion carved. Um, and the water is beautiful, the rocks are beautiful. Definitely come check this place out. just got here in Bay Rouge. As soon as you walk in, you see the beautiful pink and yellow sign, beautiful art here. And this beach is phenomenal, right Liv? Yeah, so far it's so pretty. So many blues in the water, so clear, soft white sand. 
and the best part is there's not a lot of people here. I think this is a theme here in St. Martin. Come <laughs> during the rainy season because there's not a lot of people over here. Yeah, we're here in mid-September. It's a good time to come. Um, so let's get it. let's go and check out this beach. So that was our first impressions on Bay Rouge, but now that we're here, we're here about three, four o'clock, and I don't know if it's because it's getting closer to high tide, but these waves are rough. They're they very strong. I'm sitting on this rock, and the wave will come this way, then I'm coming from the other side. It's like waves from all directions coming at you. And I was gonna snorkel over there, but it really was gonna push me around in that ocean. So I'm gonna come back in another time when it's lower tide and see if that makes any difference. All right, so we just drove over here. We caught some rush hour traffic. And we are here in Phillipsburg at which beach? Great Bay Beach. And this is a beautiful beach, but once again, because of the season, you have some sargasm on the beach, so some brown, but the water is beautiful here. This is soft sand, so let's chill out here and enjoy it. All right, and we did a, about five minute drive over here, and we are by a Divi Hotel, and we're on the water heading to another fort. It's, she says it's a cool, nice stroll. We'll see to Fort Armstrong. So it better be a stroll. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Just in time for sunset, we made it here at Fort Armstrong, and this is beautiful. It's all the way out in Phillipsburg, but it's beautiful panoramic views. You have the ocean over there. You have Phillipsburg on one side. You have the other cities. You have the mountains, and this is a perfect place to catch the sunset and just to learn about the history here. decided to eat at the barbecue food truck which is literally a food truck on the side of the road um, everything was closed and we were driving and it smelled so good like I actually smelled the barbecue from the car so I had to stop I got ribs barbecue ribs and barbecue chicken with the Creole sauce um, with the yellow rice and fries and it smells and tastes fantastic highly recommend this one good morning good morning it's day four here in st martin our day started a little bit later than usual but we made it here to the best because it's supposed to be the best um so i got a popeye plus chicken which is a crepe with spinach onions cream cheese and chicken and Liv, what did you get i got an egg white omelet that has um Peppers, spinach, uh, I've said no onions. There's also mushroom in it, I think. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> what? Let's enjoy. Alright, so there's a few different islands that you can visit off the coast of St. Martin, like Anguilla or St. Bart or um, Pinnell Island also. But actually we're here during low season, so there's a lot of things that are closed on some of those islands. But today we're gonna check out Pinnell Island and see what it's all about there. So stay tuned. <music> to Pinnell Island. It was 10 euros per person or $12 per person in order to get over here round trip. And it's a beautiful island, beautiful water here. As soon as you walk in, you see the Yellowtail restaurant where you gotta pay for the beach chairs and umbrellas. We just walked a little bit underneath this tree, which is a natural umbrella, put down our towels here. We're just gonna chill here for the day. They say the last ferry back over is at five o'clock. So let's chill and hang out in Pinnell Island. Now, we're 
we're gonna hike up. Seems like there's a path here to go to the top. So let's go. Alright, so we walked all the way across to the opposite side of Pinnell Island. And this side is crazy because we're literally the only people on this beach right now. Um, but this beach is a lot less maintained because I guess people don't come to this side. There's rocks here, um, waves here. It's a lot wavier. Yeah, a lot more wavier than the other side. And I also think there's a lot more fish here, but stupidly I left my snorkel, <laughs> so I can't even show you guys. But check out both sides. And we went close by to where the Dutch side and the French side split and we're at Koopa Koi Beach. Now this is a beautiful beach. It is white but it's a lot of rocks <laughs> and right now I think it's high tide because the waves are pretty um, harsh but it's a beautiful beach over there. It kind of looks like Santorini a little bit with the white buildings but nice place to see and view. Yeah, so there's not really any sand around here. It's literally just a bunch of big white rocks. I've never seen anything like this really, but it's really beautiful. Um, but we're probably not gonna get in the water. It's too wavy right now. So I was actually wrong about Koopa Koi Beach. I thought it was just rocks down there, but we're here during sunset and the uh, nice gentleman told us that there's actually more beaches down there. You gotta keep walking. And we walk down and this is like a private beach right here, beautiful rocks. And I also hear that there's a cave on the other side that you can go and see. So we're going to take you guys there. Let's go Liv, you ready? Go. Good, make a left. It's that cave. There you go, queen. Wow. So amazing. Alright, so we made it here to the cave. I almost just knocked myself out. But it's beautiful. The sun is setting. Look at this cave. My queen behind me. Oh my gosh, this is like... I feel like a little mermaid. She feels like the little mermaid. I don't think we deserve this. This whole cave to ourselves. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna chill here, watch the sunset, and enjoy guys. So overall, Kupukoi Beach has been my favorite, but let's head out because the sun has set already. Alright, so we just drove all the way to Bistro Carib right here in Grand Cass and it was an amazing experience here. It was a little bit classier dining than the ones that we typically have been doing here and it definitely showed in the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got one of the specials which was a lamb shank and it was fantastic. It had lots of flavor. I typically don't really eat a lot of red meat but for this one, definitely amazing. Yes, and I actually got the lobster thermidor, so it's a very interesting experience. So basically, we were sitting right next to the fountain where the lobsters are swimming around, and then you go and handpick the lobster yourself, and then they weigh it, and then they basically take a picture of you with it, and <laughs> then it comes out all deliciously cooked. It was so good, but it honestly freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Liv says this is her last lobster, and for a $69 lobster, I'm okay with that. It was the best lobster though, so I saved the best for last. Good morning, good morning. Our last day here in St. Martin, and we're gonna get the day started, get some breakfast, go to a beach, and head to the airport. The last beach and activity here in St. Martin is none other than Mullet Bay Beach on the Dutch side. Yes, and this is such a beautiful beach. It has the bluest water I've seen so far. It really reminds me of the water in Turks and Caicos. Oh yeah, it does. Yes, <laughs> definitely. It's like a Jolly Rancher blue, Kool-Aid blue. It's a very vibrant blue color here. It's so pretty. And once again, we're here in low season and there is nobody else on the beach and it's a much bigger beach than the other beaches. We also see that there's jet skis here. Um, there's other water sport activities that you can do, but right now, nobody's doing them. So 
maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing to come during low season, but you have things all to buy to yourself and it makes the perfect romantic destination. We just dropped off the rental car. We made it here at Princess Juliana International Airport and we are heading out. St. Martin was a lot more than I expected, but we'll definitely be here another time. So thank you guys so much for watching our channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.